All right, you guys, I'd like to talk about something on today. And uh, this is kind of near and dear to my heart because definitely I think that the Arizona Cardinals has what it takes to have one of the best defenses in the NFL, but they got to put it together. Vance Joseph is going to have to put it together and the Arizona Cardinals going to have to put it together. Now, I say no way that you pick a linebacker at 16 overall and this kid doesn't get the opportunity to get on the gridiron. Now, I know what happened the year before um, the Arizona Cardinals took Zavian Collins at uh, 16 overall. And the year before, they ended up taking Isaiah Simmons at 8th overall. And kind of the same thing that Isaiah went through is something that Zavian Collins has gone through. Now, I read an article recently on Bleacher Report that was just saying that he was hampered by shoulder injury. But I say that that's a bunch of hogwash. Um, you know, Zavian Collins should have been the starting linebacker. He should have been out there with Isaiah Simmons. He should have been allowed to make his mistakes as a rookie because rookies are going to make mistakes. But when I saw Zavian Collins play in the preseason against the Dallas Cowboys, I was like, man, boy, did the Arizona Cardinals find them a good linebacker, man, to be able to call the signals. And we know that the green dot guy is the guy that calls the plays. Um, he's, he's supposed to be playing the Mike linebacker right next to Isaiah Simmons. And uh, that did not happen, man. And I was kind of like, as a fan, I was kind of puzzled by why the Arizona Cardinals elected to keep Jordan Hicks. Now in the off season, they were trying to move Jordan Hicks, but eventually they was not able to move him. They told him that he was allowed to go seek a trade and they still did not move him. And I think that if you're picking somebody at 16 overall, this has to be a plug and play guy. You know, when you're picking guys in the first round, ultimately, these are guys that when they come in, they should be the plug and play guys or they should some kind of way see some type of rotation on the field. And I thought with Zavian Collins, you know, OK, I was like, OK, this is Isaiah Simmons all over again. The same thing that the Arizona Cardinals did with uh, Isaiah Simmons uh, kind of brought him along gradually. And uh, when Isaiah Simmons messed up in that first game and he let uh the running back catch the ball out of the backfield and he took it to the house. You know, that was a learning curve. You know, all of these guys are going to make mistakes. All of these guys need to learn and they need to be out on the field to make their mistakes. Um, this season, they brought another linebacker in. I think his last name is Virgil. I don't want to see Virgil out on the field. You know, if I'm if I'm being real and I'm keeping it a hundo, I don't want to see Virgil out on the field. I want to see the number one pick in the first round for the Arizona Cardinals, pick that 16th overall, Zavian Collins. Zavian Collins is six foot five, 260 pounds. That's who the Arizona Cardinals should be putting out on the field. I don't want to hear all this stuff about not knowing the plays. I don't want to hear that. I want to see Zavian Collins play some football for these Arizona Cardinals. I believe that him and Isaiah Simmons can make one of the best tandems at linebacker in the NFL, but the Arizona Cardinals have to allow it. They got to allow this young fella to get out on the field and to make his mistakes because is he going to make mistakes? Of course he is. Is he going to get everything right all the time? No, he's not. Is he going to miss a blown coverage? Yes, it's going to happen. But at the same time, I would rather see him make his mistakes than not be out on the football field at all. You drafted this dude, and now you got to unleash him. It's time for the Arizona Cardinals to unleash Zavin Collins. It's time to take the, the pacifier out of his mouth. It's time to take the baby bottle away. It's time to make the adjustment and take the training wheels off the bicycle. And it's time to allow Zavin Collins to be Zavin Collins. You drafted this kid to be a stud at linebacker. You drafted this guy to be a dog at linebacker. It's time to let him go. As you watch on this play right here, how he shot through the gap in preseason, that let me know. That was indicate, indicating to me that this guy can play. He barely saw the field, man. He got in on spot opportunities and things of that nature. Now, you know, some things we, we're not going to – always know about what goes on behind the scenes. You know, I know that the Arizona Cardinals this season will be on hard knocks alongside with the Detroit Lions as well. But the Arizona Cardinals are trying to get to a Super Bowl. This team and this roster that they put together, J.J. Watt wants to win. 
And then in order for the Arizona Cardinals to be the best of themselves, because now you don't have Chandler Jones on this defense anymore. You have J.J. Watt, who's pretty much been in and out of the lineup with the injuries. And then you got uh, Marcus Golden. And I think that Marcus Golden definitely will be solid as well for the Cardinals taking up the slack for uh, Chandler Jones. He had a great season last year. But I think that it's, it's time to unleash Xavier Collins. It's time to let Xavier Collins take this lead by storm. This dude, before he got into the NFL, won all of the linebacker awards the year before. And for this guy to not be able to get out on the field in the play, you know, it, it left a lot of speculation on my mind. And I'm sure that it left a lot of speculation on your mind as a fan. It's like, what are we doing with Xavier Collins? Is he a bust? See, those are the questions that come up with it. Because the same thing you had to say about Isaiah Simmons until he got his opportunity. Now we know Isaiah can play and he has uh, improved last season. And that was year two. I'm expecting for Xavier Collins to hit the ground running in training camp. I'm expecting Xavier Collins to be the man in the middle to man this defense. I think that this defense can be one of the best defenses of in the NFL, but only if the Cardinals unleash Zavin Collins. You got to unleash this talent, man. This dude is a talented linebacker, great in coverage, great um, when it comes to pursuing the, uh, the running back in the backfield and just a playmaker in general. It's time for the Arizona Cardinals to put this kid out there and allow him to make the plays, allow him to make the mistakes, allow him to be as an aggressive as he needs to be. Now, he definitely needs to know how to handle himself off the field as well, because I know thing wasn't the thing wasn't right with him coming in a season where he ended up getting um, a speeding ticket in Arizona. And that's just something that you you grow off of and you learn. But he needs to make sure that he cleans up his act off the field so that he'll be able to perform on the field. I definitely think that Xavier Collins could be one of the best linebackers in the NFL, but the Cardinals have to unleash this young fella. It's time to take the pacifier out of his mouth, Arizona. It's time to take the, the bottle away. It's time to uh, take the training wheels off the bicycle so this kid can go out there and perform at a high level. You drafted him to be a dog on that defense, and Vance Joseph need to let this guy play. And if Vance Joseph is not going to let Zayvon Collins play, he doesn't need to be the defensive coordinator. This kid should be out on the field, man. There's no way that Zayvon Collins should not be out on the field. So I'm expecting great things from the Arizona Cardinals defense. I'm expecting for these guys to make it to the playoffs again. And I'm expecting Zayvon Collins to have a breakout season. It's time to unleash Zayvon Collins. It's been too long, and it's time to let him do his thing. You drafted this guy in the first round. He was 16th overall, just like you did with Isaiah Simmons. Now you got to, now Arizona, you got to let this young guy do his thing. Put Zayvon Collins out on the football field. I don't want to see Virgil out there. I don't want to see any other guy but Zayvon Collins taking a snap at that Mike linebacker. Zayvon Collins need to be the man manned in that middle. If you want to be better in 2022, Arizona, it's time to let Zayvon Collins be Zayvon Collins. Let him go out there and make his mistakes. Let him go out there and do the things that he needs to do to make this football team a better team on defense. And I believe if the Arizona Cardinals do that, the sky is the limit. So unleash Arizona, Zayvon Collins in 2022.